Hello YouTube, just wanted to uh, make a quick unboxing video for the FL Sun 3D uh, i3 Prusa clone. Um, this is the new one, I haven't seen uh, much on the internets on this guy. Um, this is the newer one with the linear rods and bearings to um, for the movement versus the rollers that they used on the extruded aluminum so i mean there's a few reasons those are the main two reasons i chose this one is a extruded aluminum frame i already kind of dug into this a little bit i didn't couldn't resist but basically these came stuffed in there a few pieces of foam to keep everything from flying around too much um but yeah you get a bunch of boxes in the box it did uh kind of munch on the ends here but it didn't look like uh it hurt anything inside too bad, hopefully. So you get your uh, frame. You get your uh, rods. And they wrap them together with the screws. I hope they uh, separated them in there somewhat. So I guess let's start with hand-labeled box number one. Box number one, you got your little aluminum corners. You got uh, your screws, pulleys, and uh, flex connectors, and springs. You have all your 3D printed parts. Take a look at some of those. carriage get some idea of the quality it's not horrible some of these like the adjuster some of these these guys are all injection molded yep. these are your 3d 3d printed stuff on the right injection molded stuff on the left look too bad I'll try to get a closer look when I'm assembling it I was trying to get this done during the day but there was noise in the house so setting all we've got is this light um, yeah so you got your printed part your plastics you got some zip ties and cable management stuff. You got your Bowden tube. You got a Euro plug, which looks decent from the outside, but the wires are pretty thin. And you got the US, and it has a ground. And you have the US two pin plug, no ground. And it's just, it's quite thin. It's like a toy plug, just thin wires here. I'm gonna. Replace that. Get that back in there. Those bad boys. All right, box number two. Box number two has our acry acrylics. Not much to say about that. Not a lot of it in this kit. It's black. Blah blah. in there. Box number three. This one's kind of heavy. Uh, we got our free PLA. We got, you know, they're about that big, these schools. Yellow and red, that's nice. Have here the heat bed. Well, you have to replace that with something more sturdy if it more sturdy if it does ever work on me. And your V3, uh, I guess, heat bed. And this is the power supply. So yeah, it's one of those dealies that you have to wire yourself. 
see if it has a fan. I think it's fanless, which I'm just fine with. Come on. I'm just fine with it. It's a little not much quieter. I can always uh, stick a fan on the outside if I have any issues. Stick the goodies back in for now. So that's box number three. Box number four. And we got box four. Box four, we have some electronics. We have the board, which I was actually kind of impressed that it has oh, I can't really see but anyway right here the row of uh, well, you can see there kind of uh, the drivers are uh, replaceable separate so you know if you burn on out you don't have to toss the whole board so that's nice um, uh, the blower and uh, extruder cooling, some heat sinks, and um, Allen wrenches, and the limit switches. Right here. And the splitter, I would assume that's for the Z-axis motors. Oh, by the way, I'm, this is my first... Uh, my first venture into 3D printing, so uh, hopefully it works out well without, you know, will work decent without me having to replace a lot of stuff. Pretty good at getting stuff working. Here's a maker board. It's the LCD screen with the, you know, rotate and click knob with a button under it, which I like better than the, um, you know, five button solution, and the SD card slots right in the back of it there, maker board, www maker board, blah blah, what else we got here, we got a USB cable, we're not going to use that much, probably, we got some, uh, Power wiring of a mysterious. I don't know about that gauge. Nothing we can replace. And our heated end. So this is a, a E3DV5. And um, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not authentic, but it looks decent enough. Looks nice, there's not like too much machining, too many machining marks on it, it was actually finished recently. And um, yeah, so what, we're last, last down to the last couple boxes. Oh, of course, don't forget your uh, pre-roll of white tape, gotta have that. Gotta have that box six. Box number six would be oh, a whole, whole butt ton of uh, schools, washers, yada yadas, foam pad of some sort, all your fasteners are in there, and some uh, probably nothing too fancy linear bearings. But, um, you know, it'll work. What works, works. If it doesn't work, it won't get replaced. <laughs> and box number seven would be the steppers. And that's what we got. What we got here? Mi Hung Lo something or other. And there. Uh, and that would be it, folks. So, there you go. 
And uh, as far as, oh, that's not it. The other thing it came with is a little uh, reader. USB stick reader and of course the SD card with uh, some decent looking instructions actually. Uh, focus here, fuck. Um, there we go. So we got the driver, a few videos, for, you know, showing you paper leveling method, some uh, models. Um, these are just like sample models. Of, uh, vase, this and that. Leopard gear, slicer. Your software installs STL files for the actual printer parts, including the ones that are injection molded, which is nice. How to install host, blah blah. Um, and the assembly manual, assembly user manual below, and the assembly manual actually, um, looks pretty decent, I don't know, you know, we'll find out when we get into it how well updated it is, but, um, they actually do, you know, every section, they show you all the parts you'll need, you know, the, the, the English isn't great, but you know, if, if you can figure out what they're meaning with, with some mistakes, like, and you know, uh, in the grammar and sentence structure, you know, it's typical. Not too hard to figure out, it just screws evenly, you know, if you have, if you're actually relying on them, and to be clear, if, you, if you're not, like, inclined, it might be a problem for someone, but if you're you know, inclined to understand, you know, what the point is of the instruction, you know, why they're telling you to align something or why it should, you know, it's pretty fine. If you're understanding, you know, I'm going to tighten these screws before I tighten, you know, tighten the screws in the plain holes before you tighten the screws in the, on the slotted side, etc. Um, let's see here. Uh, stuff down to... I didn't actually look all the way through it yet, but... So yeah, there you go. They seem to be pretty thorough about it. And, uh, you know, I've looked at a lot of these kits, uh, I get, uh, I get the gist, so as long as you get the gist, then, you know, it's all variations on the theme. And more what the parts are designed to do. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, I'll, uh, might have, a. Uh, you know, I may, might make a video with some points on the build, and then, um, you know, maybe a quick uh, in-action and, and review and follow-up. So, uh, yeah, have a good one. Good luck picking your printer, and, uh, yeah, this thing looks like uh, I thought this would be the best way to get in and, you know, upgrade anything that sucks. <laughs> Peace.